As far as annual physical are concerned, we do encourage that you make at least once a year visit to your doctor. A few things that are age dependent that I normally go over with my patients include typically as far as cholesterol screening is concerned, we do it for men starting at age 35. And with the cholesterol numbers, we use that to calculate something called an ASCVD risk score to calculate your risk of stroke and heart attack in the next 10 years. Based on that, you may or may not be placed on an aspirin, which is typically recommended from age 50 to 59. Uh, that is age dependent, usually at age 60, if you don't have any other reason to be on an aspirin, which I see a lot of people stay on an aspirin permanently when it may not be necessary. What we do is we take you off of it by age 60. For men who have smoked at least 100 cigarettes in their whole life, we can do an abdominal ultrasound to look for something called an abdominal aortic aneurysm, ballooning of the aorta that could potentially rupture. We see this in high blood pressure, but also frequently in smokers. Um, that's recommended between the age of 65 and 75 in men. Colorectal cancer screening, we recommend that of course at age 50. However, if you have a first degree relative who have had colorectal cancer younger than age 60, what we do is either start at age 40 or 10 years prior to when that first degree relative was diagnosed with colon cancer, whichever comes first. For those with relatives who have colorectal cancer after age 60, then normally we start at, at age 50. And then from then, it could be anywhere from three to 10 years interval up until age 75, typically. Lung cancer screening, a lot of people don't pay attention to this, but if you are a smoker between the age of 55 and 80 who have smoked what we call at least a 30 pack year meaning about one pack per day for 30 years or two pack per day say for 15 years they're both pretty much equivalent in our book then you do qualify for a low dose chest CT in order to look for lung cancer. Diabetic screening is a simple blood test, fasting, and we reserve that for both men and women between the age of 40 and 70. And typically, if you are overweight, then it's every three years going forward. We have more concern than it could be every one year, just to keep a closer eye on your health. HIV screening is another test that most people don't think about. It is one of the grade A recommendation according to the guidelines that all primary care physicians go by, uh, the USPSTF. It is recommended that men between the age of 15 and 65 should get screened for HIV at least once. Really doesn't matter what your sexual history is. Uh, it is something that could potentially be treatable. The same goes for hepatitis C, but this is reserved more so for anybody born between the year of 1945 and 1965, then you may qualify for a hepatitis C screen. Again, this is one of the mainstay screening techniques that we utilize that is oftentimes not talked about unless you see your primary care provider. Pertaining to prostate cancer screening, that's kind of a, a controversial issue um, because the way we do that is potentially with a prostate exam, but also a blood test called PSA, prostate specific antigen. Typically, this is for men between the age of 55 to 70 annually. However, if you have a second degree relative, with prostate cancer, then we may start testing at age 50. And if you have a first degree relative, then the rules are kind of similar to colonoscopies where we go 10 years earlier than the recommended age in order to catch prostate cancer early. A high PSA may not mean that you have prostate cancer, typically the cutoff being four, but it does raise a red flag in our mind to either make the appropriate referral or the appropriate follow-up testing. Pertaining to immunization, oftentimes we do recommend a tetanus vaccine every 10 years. Depending on your insurance, we may run into some roadblocks with this. However, more importantly is pneumonia vaccination. Depending on medical comorbidities, you may qualify for one pneumonia vaccination before the age of 65, but typically across the board, once you hit age 65, then you will qualify for a Prevnar 13, which is one type of pneumonia vaccine, followed by a second pneumonia vaccine called Pneumovax 23, usually 12 months after that. Flu vaccination, of course, annually, regardless of your age. And the shingle vaccine is typically uh, started at age 50. It's a two-shot series that is administered two to six months apart. Don't forget that 
no matter how healthy you think you are, the guideline changes as you age. And so I encourage all my patients to at least see your doctor for an annual physical once a year. I just want to make sure that nothing gets missed. And this, I would say, applies for uh, men of all ages. And as children, what you often think of well child checks, which in our book is uh, simply uh, an annual physical preventive care where you get all your vaccination updated and all the appropriate care also optimized and updated. The same applies for men.